Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your mid-month reading for July of 2021. Guys, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Uh, please make sure to remember, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross-watcher here, so keep that in mind. Also, um, make sure to watch your sun, moon, rising, sun, moon, and rising signs for a pretty complete picture of these overall messages for this time period and for your life. Uh, maybe even your Venus sign if you're looking for love-specific messages. And then also make sure to like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and to comment. I love hearing from you guys. And for those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Eric. It is so excellent to meet you. All right, Sagittarius, let's dive on in here. I do have a pre-shuffle energy for you. So it looks like we're talking about the fact that you're cutting something off. In service of your highest good is what I'm hearing here. First card out was the Queen of Swords. And that's where I heard Sagittarius, you're cutting, Sag is cutting something off. Cutting something out, cutting someone off, something like that. And then <clears throat> the other card that came out here, it fell face down. It's the Ten of Cups. Uh, on the, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Wands to the Eight of Cups to the Six of Wands. So yeah, uh, to the Six of Pentacles. Woo, all right, Sag. So the Ten of Cups is representing whatever is in terms of your highest good here. In terms of something, whatever it is you're cutting out or walking away from. The, the Ten of Cups is representing your highest good. But for some of you, the Ten of Cups is absolutely representing your family or some sort of communal situation that you are no longer in alignment with, that you are no, no longer privy to, that you no longer want to be a part of, that you want to come out, cut out of your life because it's straight up burdensome. So while for some of you this is representing family or some sort of communal aspect or feelings of communal responsibility, it is also representing your highest good your ultimate wish fulfillment or your ultimate emotional fulfillment. Whether it be that you cut this out or you walk away from this and that is what brings you this personal victory or this ultimate emotional fulfillment or you cut this burden out, okay? And that leaves you free to walk right towards your happiness, your emotional fulfillment. Okay. Okay. Let's reshuffle. I'm going to clear the deck up. I'm going to shuffle this up a little bit. And then I'm going to get five official shuffles for you, Sag. And then we're going to get into the rest of your mid-month messages. Yes? Excellent. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Let's get this shuffle in. For my Sagis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month, for mid-month July 2021, this is five shuffles. Yeah? One. Two for my Sagittarians. This is three. <clears throat> this is four. For my Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and possibly even Venus. Mid-July 2021, this is five. All right, Saj, let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right, overall energy for you, Saj. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, and honestly, Saj, what I get from this energy is you call the shots. You call the shots because you know what it is you're worthy of. You have a deep sense of self-worth. You have a deep sense of self-respect. You're calling the shots. That's what I'm getting from the Queen of Pentacles. Underneath the Queen of Pentacles is fucking judgment, man. Underneath judgment is the sun. Look at you, Sag. Underneath the sun is the hanged man. You literally have the change in perspective, Sagittarius, that is allowing you to see the light, to answer this call, because you have effectively 444 on the counter. You have effectively taken your rightful place on your throne. You, and it's coming through as the queen of pentacles because this has nothing to do with gender. 
because of what she represents in terms or in the realm of self-worth and recognizing, owning, and, and honoring your sense of self-worth, which is literally what is allowing you to consciously take your place on the throne that you belong on, Sag. I'm saying that specifically. That is the message from the Queen of Pentacles. And that throne represents your self-worth. The fact that not only do you have the bag, but bitch, you are the bag. Right? Your recent change in perspective is allowing you to claim this victory for yourself, to answer the call, and to step into your rightful place. The Page of Pentacles is representing the brand new reality that comes from you stepping into your sense of self-worth. Underneath the Page of Pentacles is death, the transformation, and the emperor is the energy of owning yourself, owning your surroundings, being the master of your own domain. Excellent. Let's get into the rest of this here. First half of your, oh, I'm sorry, first set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. You have the Knight of Wands. This is you moving forward passionately. I like this. This also represents your energy, Sag. There you go. Being a leader, being a light bearer, being a light, tor a, a torch bearer, a light worker, this, that, all of that, all of that shit, right? Okay, that's great. It doesn't even have to necessarily be that. This is just you confidently moving forward with what it is you want. Or how it is you feel about yourself. I did just hear that. So, moving forward in terms of how it is you feel about yourself. What does that mean? Going after what you feel is right for you. Message. Because you know you're worthy of it. You feel. Not only do you know that you're worthy of it, Sagittarius, you feel that you're worthy of it. That is huge. Knight of Wands is coupled with the Two of Cups. This is your relationship with yourself. This is the bond between your masculine, your feminine, your higher, your lower, your light, your dark, your good, your bad, this, that, the third, whatever. This is the bond with yourself that is allowing you to move forward so passionately, so confidently. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius, is the Two of Pentacles. Keeping things in balance, keeping things in check. This is the yin, the yang. This is the balance between the harmony, the bas... The harmony and the balance in a physical way between the masculine and the feminine, the good, the bad, the yin, the yang, the black, the white, the positive, the negative, all of that shit. But the two of pentacles is representing how you are able to keep your physical reality in balance, in check, because of this bond you have with yourself, because of this harmony, this union you have with yourself. Excuse me. The two of pentacles is coupled with the ten of swords. Yup. <clears throat> you're good now. You've sufficiently walked away from all of this. You see how in this Ten of Swords, this person doesn't have the swords in their back? No, the swords are on the ground. Two of them are standing upright. And to me, that's representing a bit of the Two of Swords energy. But that's keeping your blinders on to the past because it looks like, I'm going to show you in a second, but it looks like these two swords are standing between this person and the Eight other swords that are stuck into the ground. And this person is walking away from that. Do you see this? Over. Done. Complete. Sufficiently ended. Brought to a close. And you are in a much better place to keep your reality in check, balanced, and keep yourself focused now because of this closing, because of this ending, because of this moving away from the past pain. And if y'all are, are new to me, we've been talking about this since August of 2019. To go back and check that reading. August of 2019, if you're new to me, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, I don't even fucking care. You're out of it, so that's good. Maybe don't, actually, don't. Maybe don't go back to that. We don't need to open that. We don't need to rehash that. We don't need to, like, can open that can of worms again. No, it's fine. I mean, if you want to, go for it, but nah, maybe not. <laughs> Your challenge, Sagittarius, is the Queen of Cups. Emotional boundaries, emotional stability, but... The, the strongest thing that I'm getting from this, Sag, is emotional awareness. I'm not exactly sure why, but your challenge moving forward here is keeping a sense of emotional awareness. And what I'm getting specifically is how you truly feel about something. 
Because you're not going to be able to stand, to continue to stand in this power in terms of your self-worth if you are not keenly aware or focused on what your true feelings are about something, okay? I don't feel like this is a challenge, Sagittarius, because anybody's trying to avoid their emotions here. I feel like this is a challenge because this is directly connected to you keeping up with your sense of self-worth, okay? Okay. Queen of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Sag. So, now again, this is not bad. This is definitely not bad. This is an element of you maintaining your focus, can maintaining your drive, and maintaining your boundaries when it comes to your sense of self-worth. But why it's so important for you to be keenly focused on how it is you feel about any given subject, no matter what it is, subject, circumstance, whatever, it's so that you don't recreate the past. Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles can often be an energy of doing something over and over and over again, but expecting a different result. Like this person constantly plants this seed or nurtures this plant in such a way that it really only produces one pentacle. And it could be that instead of changing the way that they do it to make the plant grow healthier, they say, well, let's just try again. No, that still didn't work. We still only got one pentacle. Well, let's just try again. No, that still didn't work. We just did. We only got one pentacle. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> Don't allow yourself to recreate the past. If something feels a certain way to you, don't handle it the way you would have handled it in the past because that's going to end up giving you the same result. Instead, do something different about it. But what I'm getting specifically for some of you is that uh, you need to know how you feel in order to do something different about it this time. And for some of you, okay, all right. So yes, for some of you, the challenge here is acknowledging those emotions because it might have been the way that you've been feeling about a certain situation the whole time, all along but you weren't honoring your self-worth at that moment. You are now. And now you can do something differently. Okay? Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Sagittarius. Five of Swords. Ooh. Okay, first thing off of my head that I want to say is pick your battles wisely. Five of Swords <clears throat> is coupled with the Three of Swords. <coughs> That's interesting. I want to get one more card here to go with this. It's the, oh, it's the Four of Cups, Sag. Oh, one more. The Five of Pentacles. Okay, Sag. So. All right. Now I'm feeling like this reading is mainly for those of you that are just now coming into this awareness of your self-worth and what it is that you need to do about that to maintain it. You're currently dealing with a subject or a situation that has caused you great pain. Three of Swords. And your cycle has been to fight back, fight back, fight back, fight back in some way that is toxic or self Destructive. Five of Swords. You're needing to focus on your emotions. How it is you truly feel. And stop fighting the same old way. In some cases, some of you need to walk away altogether with this Five of Swords energy. But, <clears throat> but some of you are not allowing yourselves to do that. Because you don't feel worthy enough. Four of Cups, Five of Pentacles. And thus, this is a comfort zone energy for you. Nine of Cups. But this reading, for those of you that are resonating with this at this point, this reading, or whatever it is you're going through right now, is helping you get to this. It's time to wake up and smell the coffee and step into 
your sense of self-worth. But not only step into that, Sag, honor it. Do what it is you need to do to honor the fact that you are worthy of, of more than what you may have been receiving. Okay? Hanged man is at the bottom of the deck. The change in perspective for you, Sagittarius, is what's going to set you free and move you into this new environment, this new reality, is what's going to help you transform. Okay? All right, Sag, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye.